YouTube, what's up? It's your favorite self-concept coach. I'm Rosalie. I did a video yesterday, June 6th, and I didn't know this was a thing, 0606. I guess everyone on YouTube in the spiritual community, 0606 is like this spiritual energy shift kind of dynamic, and I had no idea. The video that I post that you're about to see, you're gonna understand just kind of the vibe I was on. It was a total energy shift for me, and I had to share it with you guys. So I just thought that synchronicity was so cool. People are talking as like a world shift, like a whole world consciousness. It's pretty dope. So if you know anything, drop it in the comments because I didn't even know that this was a thing. So I think that's so funny with spirituality, how sometimes you can just be in sync without knowing you're in sync. Also, can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that it's a Wednesday morning and I'm at home baking banana bread happy that I can do like simple little things like this for my kids. I worked a lot, 90 hour work weeks with the three kids on my own so I was constantly gone, constantly hustling, constantly just trying to like make it work. The kids obviously suffered, like I suffered it, just not the way to live life. I'm just so grateful that I'm here doing little domestic stuff like this for my babies. Yeah, I think you can tell how grateful I am. But listen guys, I don't know if you're a single parent too. I don't know if you're taking care of your family somewhere. I don't know if you're struggling with your mental health, whatever. But like, I hope you see a little bit of yourself in me. I wanted to share that with you guys that I'm here making banana bread on Wednesday morning. So when they come home from school, they got fresh bread to eat. And like, to me, that's, that's wealth. Check out this video that's coming after this little emotional intro about the energy shift. This concept into your spirit, into your soul, say the affirmations, grasp that energy, give it a big bear hug throughout the day. See what revelations come to you, see what comes into play for you, and throw in the comments and let me know. And I wish I could share this banana bread with you because I, it's probably gonna be the best loaf I've ever made. Just so happy making it. Okay guys, check out the video, much love. Universal love, much love, all of the love. Good morning, guys. It's your favorite self concept coach, Emma Rosalie. Sleepy eyed. I'm in the habit that as soon as my alarm goes off, I just go into gratitude. It's almost like a thing. We don't really have to even ask for anything. I believe that any desire or any thought of wanting something that has. We have that placed in our being because our higher self already has it. So like say you want more money in your bank account. The reason why you even have that want in the first place is because the higher version of yourself has had it. Okay? She has had it and she's experienced it. And that's why in this realm, in this physical part that you see, you are desiring that. Because you know it's achievable so this works for anything that you desire okay you want a trip to New York City on New Year's Eve you really just have that vibe you just really want to catch that vibe there it's because you have so when you look at things like that I feel like it comes from it can come from a place of gratitude instead of instead of a place of want so you can literally hear me out on this just start thanking the universe for that experience and this is where your manifestations become very powerful because you can throw yourself in almost to that time lapse and you can kind of just like daydream about that experience because you've already had it sis you've already had it time is an illusion when you uh, are a believer of the law of attraction and quantum but time is an illusion there's no such thing as time that reality of you wanting what you're thinking of doesn't exist the reality of you having it has existed and will exist because the thing with quantum shifting is that we're almost like jumping into each of these personas that we want or that we desire I want to be that girl in NYC on New Year's Eve. I'm just going to channel that energy, baby. And then it's going to come to me. The time is just going to eliminate and dissipate. And I'm just going to be what that desire is. The cool thing about this is that, because I was just sitting here, you know, and I'm just like going through my gratitude and I'm like thinking of desires. I'm like, wait, 
why did this even come to me? Why am I someone who desires to be, you know, let's say waking up in Bali instead of being like a skydiver, you know? Like I have never once wanted to like desire to skydive. Like if it happens, it happens, cool, but it's not like in my heart, but like travel is. And like, I think it's because I've already experienced it. It has to be put in my spirit for a reason. And I think that reason is because in some level of time, you know, you have to remember that time is just a human constriction. Spirit's not constricted by time. So in some level of time, it's because I have experienced that. And I really enjoyed it. And it's like, you know, when you connect to source and spirit, especially in a grateful state, that's a great way to connect. You're going to get these feelings of things that you're grateful for. And it's funny because I haven't experienced them in this realm or in this time. But... I believe that I have in another, another time. You guys get that? Like, this is just, this is morning thoughts, you know? So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. It makes sense if I'm wording it properly. Because, I mean, it is like 5 a.m. If you can look at your desires now as more of things, like, I've already had it. I'm experiencing that desire now because my higher self has had it. And she knows it's a good time. And so she's reminding this vibration now, like what is to come and what's there. So she's like reminding me, you know, and then I'm just like, so it means I've experienced it. So I should look at my desires as more of, from more of a place of gratitude than anything. So it like just com completely eliminates all want. It creates it creates a dynamic of gratitude versus desire of wanting, which is lack. So it creates a mindset of abundance because it's like I've had all of these experiences and I'm just thankful for them. I'm thankful for the desire of them, okay? Thankful for the desire of them. And me being thankful for those experiences helps me channel the energy of having them which manifests the desire okay <laughs> so with that being said let's let's throw in an affirmation this morning okay repeat after me okay say this i believe that there's power in these words so i'm sending you that power I'm sending you that vibration that i'm feeling right now with these words Everything that I need, I already have. Everything that I have is all that I need. Anything that I desire, I will receive. Because my reality is created by me. Have those words just kind of circulate through your mind, feel them in your spirit today. Let them, let them hold truth for you today. Let me know in the comments what your desires are, what thoughts you have or dreams you have. Throw it out there, script it, put it in writing, put it, put it down there and uh, share it. You know, there's power in sharing your dreams. This is a safe space to do so. Just kind of vibrate higher on this. It's, it's a really good vibe this morning. Universal love, everybody. Talk soon.